Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken. This is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run where we are continuing to battle against the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers permission. It is time for New Chile and it is... I have forgotten to count but we're probably in month number 15 by now. Uh, it's around the 8th or so our terror mission that we're seeing. It really has been a long run so far almost completely uh, decked out with all of the nice little goodies got the toys uh, short of uh, the massive upgrade for the sniper rifle uh, we got all of the other toys so uh, that's a goodie uh, let's see if we can actually defend this haven assault we only got two soldiers for this mission so we might end up uh, still losing uh, the retaliation mission my experience with retaliation missions is it has a lot to do with the tempo of the mission since um, civilians can die so easily if you if you activate too many pots at once um, even if it's just two pots uh, you might run the risk of getting completely overrun and it's so so easy to lose this, these missions I activate the pot of chrysalids they run into the dark and next thing that you see is hordes of chrysalids coming back at you so it's bad but we also got nice little toys as you can see we have uh, the viper suit and the uh, berserker queen suit we got weapons of the chosen uh, we got good ammunition highly upgraded weapons got plus one damage on uh, beam weapons as well so we should be ready. Like this is going to suck for the enemy. Big time. Only 13 enemies, which also tells me it's almost a given that the Chosen is going to show up. That's why it would be way too easy. But that's fine. Let me correct it. It's 12 enemies because we stole a double agent. I love these continent bonuses. The civilians trapped nearby. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Okay. So we have some high ground over here. Which is good. We need it. And we got the civilians over here. I'm pretty sure we're going to trigger something. Oh my gosh, Fra frame rock uh, frame rate drops immediately. Not too bad. As a first pack, it's actually quite good. Interestingly enough, we can't grapple up here. How is that even possible? Why? Oh, probably due to the tree. Well. How, go how is this old saying going? You gotta trim the bush if you want uh, the tree to appear taller. No, I think that was the wrong one. Anyways, let's see if we can trim it a bit. There we go. Trimming successful. Okay. If the Codex doesn't dodge yet again, we should easily kill it and get a reset. Nice little kill. Death from above. Got the chain shot. That's a dodge. That's a miss. Well. I think we still want to go for advanced teamwork. It's just the right play at this point. 100% dealing a lot of damage. And he's the one with blue screen round, so why wouldn't you do that, right?
I guess that'll be okay. Good. That's Overwatch. We still got a bit of ammunition left over. First pack engaged and killed. And there's another pack. Oh, don't shoot the Codex, please. Well, you can do whatever you want with the Vipers. I think they are fine. Pretty good. I like it. The weapons of our resistance uh, colleagues are dealing six points of damage, which means they have seen quite some upgrades. They are certainly not normal rifles anymore. So if I were to deal damage, yep, I think we're going to go for a nice little Reaper play here. I like his, the confidence of Renman. 100% hits. No excuses. Running in. Come on. You need to follow my nar narration. You can't just not run in. There we go. Blade Master strikes, strikes it down. Yeah, I think we can just continue, to be honest. And there we go. I see a critical strike, by the way. Not enough damage to kill it. At least not conventionally. Very low chance to actually hit it. Yeah, I'm not. Again, not terribly surprised that it didn't work. And this here could be a good chance to kill it. Somehow, the animations of Renman take a lot of time to process. It's dead. It has to be dead. The resistance team is in the clear. We just saved four civilians. Easily. Alright, taking an elevated position up here. Oh, it was the end of my turn. I shouldn't have moved then. Totally misplayed it. I was mentally thinking we already, because of the narration, I thought it was the enemy's turn. But clearly it wasn't. Like, that was a stupid uh, play. I could have triggered a full group. In my mind, we still had an action left over from Renman, who could uh, shift it over to Zirkim any time of the day. So yeah, that was rather lucky instead of really calculated. Many codices, by the way. Good. 
Okay. So, how about reloading? Killing this codex here. Oh man, we're dealing a lot of damage. Like crazy amounts of damage. Yeah, unfortunately we can't see anything else. Might as well take a shot. This guy is not in lethal range yet. So... We're just moving on. If you say so. Yeah, too far away to really make it work. Yeah, if we could get up here somehow, that would have been uh, Good, uh, a good uh, choice, but I think it's fine where we are. Might as well go in just a bit uh, deeper. Okay, I'll go. Zirkim has untouchable, so I'm not terribly afraid. He sees the rage suit, panics, and still kills an enemy. What the fuck? They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. All right. I am a little bit pissed now. You killed the first civilians. A lot of codices in this run. I can't can't remember when I saw that many uh, codices the last time in a mission. Probably never. And I must admit, our forces are actually doing something useful. Believe it or not. On the move. No chance to crit this guy. So might as well just move up. Hmm. We do not have Reaper yet. We cannot uh, enter high ground. If I move here, we're going to trigger the other pack. So that's a given. You could move to over here. You also move and effectively kill, uh, try to kill the Berserk. They're not like mutants, he wouldn't fight back. Might as well try to do that. A 
Good silk is almost down. Worst thing that could happen is we're going to trigger a faceless one and the other group. But that's okay. I think we're fine. There's the faceless one I was talking about. Yeah, might as well stay here. Look at you, you cheeky little something. Teleporting behind our back. There we go. Dozens and dozens of codices. Bladestorm just immediately killed the face, this one. Hilarious. Yeah, the target uh, the target focus for those guys is of course completely off. Not expecting them to focus fire. They will just try to hit whatever. Yeah, I figured it would be bad, but this here indeed is quite bad. Lots and lots and lots of enemies left over. Okay. Let's see if we can hit some of the codices. Uh, codices. We did not have Reaper. We could go in and start harassing here. Let's think about that a little bit more, but before we do so, I want to make sure that uh, we kill as many of them as possible for now. So reloading, so we need ammunition, and let's kill the ones that are 100% kills, which is the Berserk, death from above into this codex here which even if we would have missed the stock would have killed it into probably this codex here into My 
Nice little grappling hook over here. Not yet. Okay, this here should be another kill. Of course, whenever something should be a kill, it isn't. Advanced teamwork to keep the chain going. Nice little death from above, and we're out of ammunition. Might as well kill this guy. Good. Ah, that was a mistake. I did for uh, I did forget uh, that I did forget that uh, with uh, transitioning over uh, we can no longer move our full movement with rage uh, rage strike, which I wanted originally to take here in order to kill this guy, um, and then basically take shots down here, take death from above in order to kill people. Doesn't work like this, unfortunately. Anyways, we can still reload. And at least this here should be a kill. So, and if I'm not mistaken, there was one in here. Which, when we're moving in, should be standing right next to it. Alright, as long as they are wasting their psionic bomb, well, that's fine. Okay, the resistance forces seem to be reloading, all of them. Seventy percent chance to actually kill this guy. Get it together. High ground. Into pretty solid shot. That is death from above. Check it before you get too close. Hair trigger free action. Okay. I mean, I would like to kill this guy, but it's probably wiser to just take the hair trigger. And start harassing the Berserk. Oh my gosh, nice little crit there.
That's untouchable. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's see. Maybe the resistance uh, can even fully kill the enemies. So much for the Berserk. What an elusive enemy. Yeah, guys, if you would take high ground or flank them, this actually wouldn't wouldn't be too bad. Okay, we can, and we will, use the katana to kill this guy. It's dead. It has to be dead. All right, well, not even a second faceless one. The only one that uh, showed, I think the second one just kept uh, kept hiding after seeing how his friend was murdered with just one hit. Before we entered the mission, I was like, yeah, it's going to be the most difficult and random mission. And then we... it was like a breathe. This tech team is really strong for most of uh, the missions. And with the new equipment, I feel we're pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. And keep in mind, we haven't even invested points into them. Like serial uh, on both of them to deal with um, even uh, even floored enemies more points in uh, aim yeah, I can I, I can think of quite a few scenarios how to even make them stronger whatever they are not the main uh, cast we're just seeing them quite often in the missions because the main cast is is effectively not playing at the moment. Continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Yeah, we don't need asserted loot. I mean, we could get it, but at the moment, Intel is more important, and I would really want to uh, continue expanding. For that, we just got our pistol improvement, which is pretty good. It does not look like much on paper, but plus one for pistols isn't bad. Keep in mind, we do have um, we do have a pistol on Hawkbite as well. So that oh, does the Uzi actually count as a pistol? We're going to find out. Uh, anyways, what I was about to say is, with abilities such as Fanfire. Uh, you can easily fire four times around with quick, uh, with lightning hands, even uh, five times around. So that could be a plus five points of damage. This here is some bonus intel. I, agree. I would like to take that opportunity. And we're focusing a bit on intel gathering now. Nice, we got some Venom rounds. The elders don't make a habit of looking for me. Do we have enough um, cores? Uh, we're running, we're almost running out of cores. I think that's the problem. It's so hard to find a challenge these days. I just thought maybe I'd come up with something new. Uh, 
I think we're going to get one more of those and I would save uh, the last core just in case. Nice, look at that, plus 10 dodge. Are we going for the armor upgrade or are we going for the superior uh, PCS? I think the superior F uh, um, PCS is not bad. It's better than the than the upgrade, but this here is only nine days. Like, how long uh, do we have left over in the month? Six more days. So either it's only one of uh, those two missions. Hmm. I think we're going to go with this one here, to be honest. Another 25 intel. Wait a second. To oh. here, it's only supplies. I want to save the the intel just a bit, so. Might as well use this here and invest supplies instead. Yeah, that's much better. Hogbite is at 99 dodge afterwards. Might as well give him one more mission, uh, just because he's not starting with three uh, focus. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. Interesting. Got another facility over here. Yeah, we can soon make contact. There is 70 intel right there. I await your orders, Commander. Let's go for the last autopsy. Uh, once all of the autopsies are done, I think we have also uh, covered most of the breakthrough researches. And there is another mission prior to... Uh, to ending this month, we're looking at either high level of psionic energy, yay, or a normal hacking mission, which is averagely difficult, or we're uh, countering the hidden event and get a scientist, which we do not really need that much. All of uh, the missions are, the rewards of these missions are equally uninspiring, specifically the engineer here. So in that case, I probably will go for the normal difficult mission, just because. And I'm wondering in order to maybe spice it up a bit, how about we're... Ah, you know what? We can go with um, Outrider and Edgar Elgin Poe. Haven't seen them in a while. What are we talking about? We're looking at Gatekeeper. Ah, the enemies here suck quite a bit. Uh, Gatekeeper, Archon... I already know that combination, so this might be uh, an evil pack together. Andromedon, Heavy Mech, Elite Spectre. Yeah, the Viper is an easy kill. So we're going to do that next um, uh, next uh, mission, but I can already give you a slight preview. We are seeing blue screen rounds for sure. And Dragonova. I am debating if we want to 
maybe use tail and rounds just for the extra crit chance I think that might be a good idea. Okay, anyways, whilst I am doing all of this here, I wanted to start thanking you for taking the time to watch uh, the mission together with me. Another f uh, pretty flawless mission, to be honest. I wasn't expecting that the run would be that smooth uh, at, at this stage. So let's spice it up and look at a, a different tech team. We're going to take a difficult mission up on uh, then in the next session for now, um, I say goodbye and uh, see you in the next mission.